Well, there she is. All right, today it's going to be an interesting video. Come down here. See that? Got a cracked axle or a rub through one or the other. So that's going to be the job of the day. We are going to pull this axle out and weld that crack up or the rub through. In order to do that, all the lines to the boosters have to come off. Shock's got to come out, torque bar's got to come out, the airbag's got to come out, and then the truck's going to come forward. I'm going to overinflate the bag there, pull the truck forward, and this rear should be just about sitting out. And then we're going to flip it over, drain it out, and weld it. So that's today's job. Brought to you by Milwaukee Three Quarter Impact. Saving the world one giant effing bolt at a time. So, all right. Uh, I'm gonna come back when I'm halfway through the job. We'll see how it's going. I'm gonna show a little bit what I'm doing here. Disconnecting the hoses. I'm gonna leave all that connected right to the brake chambers. Make sure you mark the hoses so you know which way they go back. There's a, uh, you know, there's your uh, emergency and your. Uh, service so make sure you mark them i mean there's only four of them it ain't that hard to figure out but i just marked them anyway pull my abs sensors off and i'll leave them connected to the connected to the back there i'm not going to pull them off down there i'm going to pull them off right up here so that's where we're at for that all right got a little farther pulled the uh mud flaps off and the brackets pulling the airbags out right now I was going to chain the axle, then lift the truck up, and then pull it out, but what I did instead is I blocked the front axle, and I'm going to drive the truck forward, and then just wheel this axle out. That's if I can keep enough air pressure. I don't know how that's going to work, but I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to show you here. Airbags. These airbags have like 680,000 miles on them in Texas, down south. As you can see, <laughs> they're not uh, they're not that peachy. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if right now just me doing that's just ruining these airbags. Well, not that they're not ruined already, but it's time for airbags. But anyway, put it that way. So I'm gonna see if I can pick up airbags for this thing. <laughs> Hopefully, I can, since uh, we all know uh, the nationwide backwater. These bags. Well, this bag looks just about brand new. In fact, yeah, this bag was replaced, if you look. It's not a good year, like that one is. Uh, and then this one, it looks like it's a good year, too. But it's not too bad. Depends. Sun, you know, Texas Texas sun beating on the, on the back of the bags. Freaking mess them up in no time. Just cook the rubber. Same thing with the bushing right there. That push and shot. So, uh, yeah, good times. So, all right, uh, let's keep going. All right, so, uh, took about four hours to get here. I probably would have had the rear out almost if we didn't have a few problems. Uh, one of these shock, shock bolts stripped out. I was lucky able to play with it enough to get it out. Uh, I had some clearance problems down there with the shock bolt. I uh, couldn't get the impact gun in between the pumpkin and the damn uh, damn bolt. So I had to take that off my hand. You're definitely going to need a three-quarter or half-inch set and a three-quarter inch wrench. Uh, yeah, socket wrench. Uh... Still got two bolts on the axle, the uh, 12 point star bits. I got two out, the other two just ain't budging. We're gonna heat them up tomorrow. 
when uh, my welder gets over here. I'm gonna try to get them out. I'm gonna go buy a 12 point impact socket and see if that don't work. I, cr I just cracked a chrome one, tw two of them. So, uh, right now I got the truck up off the ground on the blocks, two blocks. Got the front axle chained up so I don't rip the airbags apart. And then uh, we picked this up with the JLG. I guess I'll show you guys that damn thing. See? This ain't, uh, I don't think it's going to be your uh, everyday do it yourself at your uh, house job. Right there, your JLG. So that's uh, what I used to lift it up with. Uh, I'm so gracious to have uh, have the owner of this uh, little fine establishment here uh, in my good graces, uh, or I wouldn't be able to do this by myself, and I'd be spending another five grand on this axle. <laughs> so that's a uh, that's a look he's a little look see at this job. Sorry, I'm about like five or six beers in. Maybe that's even a lie. Probably more like 10. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. This is what we got going on here. The life of buying an old semi-truck. How how many freaking times uh, have you seen an axle freaking crack on a truck? Crack or wear through. And it, it ha, sure seems like those U-bolts are tight to me. I was sitting on there hammering on them with the impact gun, three-quarter inch, for like a good freaking minute. And those bolts didn't move, so... I'm going to say it didn't wear through, it must have cracked. Apparently, uh, from what I hear, that's uh, it's a common problem with these internationals and I guess some Peterbilts and stuff. So, uh, I'm going to end up making a video here uh, in depth of what to look for and go over for a semi truck. Like, like when you're buying an old one, because obviously there's a lot more involved than I thought to look at. Uh, you know, you get there, you're all excited, uh, especially now with, uh, your options are kind of limited buying trucks. If you don't jump on it now, it's either gone or the price jumped a couple, a couple, uh, thousand dollars. So that's that for now. Tomorrow, I guess I'll get some video of the welder heating these bolts up, maybe doing some welding. Till then. So we got the rear back in, thanks to this and a little bit of help with my welder. Got the U-bolts hooked up again. I put grease underneath, underneath the U-bolt uh, mounts and uh, cleaned the U-bolts mounts up so there's no jagged rush or rust or anything like that. So right now I'm trying to align the rear. I did mark it with a, a paint stick, but there's so much crap and grease you can kind of see. You can kind of see it still kind of lined up there. Right now I'm taking this uh, tape measurer and I'm uh, putting it on the, right here on the big part of the freaking uh, tread. Taking it, going out here, checking it. So right there, it's got, what is it, five feet two inches like. Go over and check the other side, make sure it's lined up the same way. Now these are the same tires too, just to let you know. So the tread's exactly the same. So I guess you'd have to judge that. You had different tires on the damn truck. Five foot two, and it's, it's touching the tire. See the tire's flat, tape measure's pretty much flat. You can't, you know, I've had a straight edge piece of wood. Worst comes to worst, I'll go have the truck aligned at alignment shop. I'm really that worried about it. It doesn't look like the, the thrush is out or anything. You see it lines up pretty decent there. Come up and look here. Well, 
Well, I got a chain in there right now, but I guess we can take it over the other side. Looks pretty, uh, looks pretty even to me. Shadows making it look pretty wonky. But it's touching the tire, touching the tire. These are different tires, so I don't think the, the gap's gonna really be the same, but I just wanted to make sure that they're touching inside there like that. All right. Hopefully I can edit this half decent where it doesn't seem like a retard did it. So. Alright, we got the uh, got the rear back in, the mud flaps on, we're just uh, got all this mess to clean up, fill the rear back up, uh, I'll probably get new fluid for it when I can find it somewhere, uh, I think it takes 80, 90 weight, but of course, like everywhere, nobody has 1540 and nobody has uh, 80, 90. Uh, even the little, well, the little Napa in town here probably would, but they're closed. The Walmart's out, tractor supplies out. Uh, even the pilot up the road doesn't have no oil or and no gear oil either. Uh, they probably don't stock gear oil. So, but see, we have it all back in. Get a light here. Right now, I'm just. Uh, Checking my connections, make sure uh, make sure they're not leaking any air. Some uh, you know soapy water. There's uh, checking the brackets. Make sure when you take these off, if you ever do one of these, make sure you uh, mark the brackets. I had somebody else working with me, the welder, and uh, I guess he picked them up and cleaned them off with a wire wheel, and uh, pretty much. Uh, I guess he stuck them back down, but he put them back down backwards. So when I got everything up and he left, uh, something wasn't right. It wasn't sitting all the way flush with the uh, those brackets down there. So mark your brackets. Uh, I marked the top ones. I marked the bottom. I made sure it was side to side, and front to rear, out in the same space. But, uh, it was when I took it off. Uh, yeah, you like that? It's uh, so brittle. It snapped. And I, uh, I have a fitting, put a fitting on it, and had it over here, it reached, and then it snapped again. Dropped the freaking, uh, had the uh, impact on sitting there, and it hit it, and it shattered. So the brakes, the brakes are, uh, brakes are off right now. There's no air leaking. Everything looks good. I'm gonna go uh, take it for a little bit of a ride, uh, bump it up and down, and then I guess I'll check. Uh, check these bolts again with the impact gun. I'll drive it up on top of the blocks and uh, check it. I'll be back. <laughs> 